Hey guys, today I wanted to make a quick video showing you how I use Paul Leeming's corrective LUTs to color correct and color grade my GoPro footage. Now for those who don't know, Paul Leeming is a cinematographer who has designed a series of technical LUTs designed to help color correct various types of video footage. I am not even going to attempt to explain how these work, but the general idea is that they're tweaking the color profile to be more accurate and to have better dynamic range. And that's gonna get you to sort of a neutral starting point before you do your creative color grading. He recently released some new LUTs specifically for the GoPro Hero 11, which is what I'm using. So I'm gonna walk you through my process. Now, I am not an expert at this, but I do have a very simple process that I think works well for me. So I thought I would share it with others so they have it as a point of reference. Now, before we get into this, these are the exact settings that I'm using on my GoPro. The key things here are to have ProTune set to on, the EV comm set to negative 0.5, and to be shooting in the flat color profile. In a Facebook post, Paul Leeming also recommended shooting in 5.3K using the 10-bit color option and with sharpness set to low, all of which I'm doing here as well. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I've pulled in a clip uh, of uh, me biking last fall. Nothing especially interesting about this, but it does have some nice fall colors and some nice lighting, so I thought it would be good for the demo. So, I like to work in adjustment layers, and I've got an adjustment layer already created here. If you need a new one, you can just click right here and go adjustment layer. I can just drag and drop this over here like this. And so when I do color correction and color grading, I like to work in two different layers. So I've got my color correction layer and then my color grading layer. So I'm gonna pull in two layers right away. And I'm just gonna use this bottom one for the color correction and the top one for the color grading. Uh, this works well when you have, for example, a bunch of different clips or a bunch of different clips even shot with different cameras so that when you, when you do the final color grade, you can just apply it over all of the clips. But right now I'm gonna bring in my, uh, my leaming LUT. So let's go to color. Okay, and let me bring up my scopes here. We go to the basic correction panel here. And where it says input LUT, this is where you would want to bring in whatever technical LUTs you're going to use. And so uh, I've got a couple of options here. So this is the Leaming LUT Pro 3 GoPro 11 ProTune Flat. There's also a ProTune Flat Native if you shoot in the native white balance. And then there's also the, um, the Leaming LUT Athena 3 for the GoPro 11. And so this is basically just a lighter version, um, just a kind of bumps up the exposure compared to the main one. So let me show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the, um, the Leaming LUT Pro 3 for the GoPro 11, and you can see that it has reduced the exposure quite a bit. It's also kind of taken some colors out of there. Let me kind of switch back and forth. So again, I'm not the right person to explain how this works, but basically it's, it's kind of doing some tweaks in the background to um, the colors and the gamma curves to kind of give you the most uh, options from this point on. Now what I might do though in this case, because this is looking a little dark, is I might try the Athena version which is a little bit lighter. And I do, I think I like that. This is a, this seems like a cleaner starting point for me. Now I've got my Leaming LUT on the adjustment layer here and I'm not done tweaking this, but I am going to put on a creative LUT and just kind of figure out a direction at this point. So um, what I'll do is I'll put on a creative LUT, tweak that a little bit, then I'll go back to my, uh, my color correction layer and start playing with the exposure and the S curves and stuff like that. So at this point, so let me click on the creative panel here. So this is where you would add your creative LUT. Or if you were a more talented person who wanted to spend more time at this, you could, you could do your own color grading. Uh, I'm lazy, so I like to take other people's uh, LUTs and apply them. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, now I happen to know, and I've, I've got a whole bunch of different uh, LUTs installed here. You might recognize some of these from people like Peter McKinnon and uh, Cody Blue, and then um, Paul Leeming actually releases for free some, some LUTs that are kind of handy. Some uh, LUTs that'll give you like kind of a filmic look if, you, if you're looking for that. For uh, fall foliage, uh, one nice LUT that I like a lot is this Kodak Killer LUT. That's a Peter McKinnon. LUT, so I'm gonna select that. Um, and that actually looks pretty cool. It's a little bit uh, over the top, a little bit extreme. So I'm gonna dial back the intensity here. Mm, something between 40 and 60 usually works for me, depending on how, uh, how much color I wanna get in there. That looks pretty good. And so um, let me just kind of squeeze this a little bit here. 
Um, so what this is doing is basically, it's gonna make the oranges and the reds pop a little bit, and it's gonna add a little, uh, kind of a, a teal blue tone to the uh, shadows as well, which, which I like a lot. So this is looking pretty good. Now you can see when I added the Creative LUT on there, it kind of bumped up the exposure a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do now is go back to this color correction layer and start making some tweaks. So, and there's a couple ways you can do that. So you could go to the basic correction panel and start playing with the sliders here. I happen to just like working with the curves. I, I just feel like I get better results with it, um, but whatever works for you. And so I am going to bring down the blacks just a little bit. You can watch on the uh, Lumetri panel over here, kind of see what, what effect it's having. Um, then I want to uh, kind of raise the, raise the highlights uh, and the mid-tones. Not too much, but that looks pretty good. And then I think I just want like a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna create another point and just kind of drop the shadows down a little bit. That is looking pretty good to me. Let's just uh, play this for a little bit here. Honestly, this looks pretty good. Oh, and I almost forgot. So um, so I mentioned that I shoot with the um, sharpness or the detail set to low. So what I like to do then is bring up the sharpening in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. And so I just happen to know that the number 15 usually gets me um, the, the level of sharpness that I want. Um, let's play this a little bit more here. Now, obviously you don't need these LUTs. You can color correct and color grade footage however you want. But for me, being an amateur at this and wanting to have an efficient workflow and have good looking footage without spending a ton of time on it, being able to slap on one of these corrective LUTs and make a couple of adjustments and throw on a quick color grade is a nice way to punch up my videos and it's relatively painless. Now, feel free to let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong or what tips you have for others on color grading GoPro footage. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.